In the meantime, as we're watching, we've got two minutes left. We bring in John Creswell, two minutes left of trade, managing director at Duff and Phelps Investment Management, who is who has managed, he says, to find the one green area he and he says you should be investing in. What is that? Exactly. REITs, real assets are up today. One of the few things that are a green on the screen. And we've been saying for several months that uh, these stocks have been attractive, actually sold off a little bit in anticipation of higher rates. And now that we have higher rates, they're performing well, performing great today. You're talking about real estate investment trusts, and yeah. there are a whole bunch. There are there are college dorm REITs. There are, are retail REITs. Which ones are you specifically talking about? We're putting them on the screen. Simon Property and Digital Realty Trust. Yeah, so Simon Property is the mall owner you're probably familiar with. They spent the last five years kind of uh, increasing the quality of their, their malls, and these are the malls that are survivors, uh, that are experiential. Uh, that are diversified. And uh, to your point about what's new in REITs, it's not just uh, the apartment buildings, the office buildings, mm -hmm. uh, Digital Realty Trust. It's a, um, it's a digital storage warehouse industrial facility that houses uh, everything that uh, makes the Internet of Things uh, go. We've got about 30 seconds. What do you make of the volatility we've seen in the past two weeks? Well, it's uh, in some ways this is can all go back to 09 when we started QE and we um, increased the money supply and we increased the debt and we knew at some point we'd have to wean ourselves off of it and that process has come and the Fed's doing it I think a, as as best as they can but this is the process we go through higher rates. Let's also don't forget though that it's also a function of a strong economy which is a positive. John Creswell putting a fine point on it.